Salute, salute. Salute to God, the most high, the creator of everything. Just for a moment. Imagine. Just imagine. Most of y'all are like, what are we imagining? Imagine having to stay tuned to this channel to see exactly what Mr. Uncut is talking about. Y'all know what to do. Cue my theme music. Let's get into it. Salute, salute. Salute to God, the most high, the creator of everything. Salute to all my day ones. Salute to the new subscribers. If you're just not discovering my platform as you come in, you know, show some hospitality, some generosity. You know what I'm saying? We're working over here. God is moving. Wipe your feet all over my welcome mat. Hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell. Share this video, share the experience, share the growth. Trolls, only God and your mama can love you. Okay? And last but not least, last but not least, last but certainly not least, y'all know I gotta do it one time. Yeah, yeah, I say one time. Yeah, yeah, I say one time. One time for the Uncut Squad, one time for the Gifted Family, one time for Big Bro's Corner, Big Bro's Backup, one time for God, the real MVP, the savior of everything, y'all, and two salutes to the G-O-D. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just imagine, if you think you have problems now, and you feel abandoned, you feel alone, you feel like there's no one you can call, you don't have any support. You're going through this by yourself. You're a whole loner out here in the world. You're a whole loner. And it's not because you're a bad person. It's just because you're not a social person. A social butterfly is what I hear people say, okay? You're someone who normally sticks to yourself. Imagine having to go through everything life has to throw at you by yourself. How hard is that? <clears throat> How hard is that? Now imagine going through these same problems, but knowing that God is good all the time. Imagine going through these same problems, but knowing since you don't have anyone physical you can call, or if anyone physical you can run to, oh, you got two knees you can... You can, you know what I'm saying, bend and you got two hands. Listen, you can get it in. You can get it in. You can pray. You can pray yourself out of a situation. Pray your way out of a situation. You can pray yourself happy. You can pray yourself joy. You can pray yourself protection. You can pray yourself joy. You can pray yourself peace. You know, it's, man, I could not imagine going through everything that I've been through that caused me to humble myself and actually, you know, adhere to God's calling. I can't imagine actually going through all of that by myself. I can't imagine going through all of that without God right there by my side because no matter how hard it got, God made it easy. See, no matter what you're going through, it may be hard, but as long as God is on your side, it makes it easy. Not a little bit easy. It makes it all the way easy. It's just hard for you to understand physically and emotionally. You understand what I'm saying? But God understands spiritually where you need to be. God knows his works. You don't. I don't. We only know our faith, but how strong is that faith? I cannot imagine going through some of the things that people have gone through alone. I don't know how an atheist makes it. I don't know how an atheist makes it through trials and tribulations because in the end, we all need something to believe in. We all need something. We all need some faith. We all need some joy. We all need some deliverance. We all just need a friend. You know, <clears throat> by me, actually adhering to God by me actually being humble I realized that man 
God is good. I realize that, man, life is great. I realize that sometimes what you're trying to hold on to can't measure up to what God is trying to deliver you from and get you to, if that makes any sense. Like how I always say, you should rather God replace something than repair it. I always tell people, you know, God can repair it or he can replace it. You should rather him replace it because he's only going to give you something brand new and something better. He's going to spend all that time molding you and shaping you, and he's going to send you your equal. Your equal. You know, this is for the people who understand how God works, who understand when you're being called, who understands why you're being persecuted, you know. And I couldn't ask for anything more than what I have right now. You know, by 3, 3.30 in the morning, you know, my baby's on the phone with my mama talking. They chopping it up already. 3, 3.30 a.m. They can't go a day. A day. You know, <laughs> my mom is telling me she feel like she actually gave birth to my Mrs. Uncut. She really looks at her like a lover to death. And that makes me proud. That makes me proud. Because you can show up with people who your family resent. And you can be stuck in something. And you could be refusing to be released, removed, delivered from. And no matter how much you refuse, God knows what's best for you. And God has a plan for you. God has a plan for you. You know, sometimes it's not about mental health. Sometimes it's really about stress. Sometimes it's really about people disturbing your spirit, disturbing your walk, you know, disturbing your calling, disturbing your comfort zone. And we can say it's demonic, but we can also say it's the human way. So we exercise the spiritual way and we give it all to God and we allow God to lift us up. We allow God to put us where he needs us to be in order for us to be productive and progressive in his ministry for him and for ourselves. It's not always about the money. It's not always about the money. It's never about the money. But humans can make it about the money. We can make it about the money. It's never about how we feel, but we can make it about how we feel. It's never about what's right because we are too busy making it wrong. Do you see what our God has to put up with? So if it's this way for me and, and there's 7 billion people, imagine how busy our God really is. Imagine how when he made the world in six days, he had to rest on the seventh day. Imagine. Well, that's a great God. And he's there to answer every call from every single person in need. Every faithful person. Faith without works is dead. Every faithful person. So <clears throat> I guess what I'm trying to tell you is, no matter how hard life gets, it would be a lot harder for you if you didn't have a great God on your side. For those of you who don't know God and you're going through it, I hope you understand now why you're still going through it. With that being said, two salutes to the G.O.D. for showing up and showing out every time for being a great, glorious, magnificent, forgiving, omnipotent, all-seeing, almighty God that he is, man. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't call out to him now, remember... At some point, you're going to have to. God is real. He's involved with all things, y'all. Y'all, get your one-on-one. -on -one, get your one-on-one. -on -one, get your one-on-one -on -one with your higher power. Y'all stay prayed up. Y'all stay blessed up. Y'all stay meditated up. Stay protected. Stay real. Stay woke. Stay uncut. Be inspired. Be great. Be you. Because you have God inside of you. Ashe.